Hey guys, to import data into your existing application, Backendless provides an import capability which is available under Manage and then select Import. And on this screen, uh, you can import data right into your Backendless backend. There are several ways to import data. First of all, you can import a zip archive. This would be a zip file created by Backendless Export. Or if you are migrating from a, from a parse application, uh, from the parse server application, you can create a zip archive uh, and export it from, uh, from your parse server and then import uh, data from your parse application into Backendless. Additionally, you can import a single file for your application settings, uh, a CSV file containing data that, uh, that Backendless will create a table in the database, or you can import geo uh, points into your geolocation storage. Let me demonstrate uh, importing a single file first. So the uh, here's a little preview of a CSV file. Uh, very, very basic, as you can see, the uh, top row contains the name of the column, which is city, and then the data type, which is going to be a string, and then all the data uh, just goes into each individual row. So if I select that file uh, in here, it's, gonna, it's called cities, and then run the import, you'll see a screen where you will confirm the data type for the column city, and then click finalize import. Backendless starts a task uh, to import the data from this file. It's an autonomous task, runs in the background. You can uh, check the status of the import process by going to files and then select import. And here you'll get the log file that uh, tells you how that import went. In this case, it went successfully. There are no errors. And if you go to the data section, here's the cities table that contains all the data imported from that CSV. Let me delete this table and then show you uh, import from a zip file. So here I'm switching to manage and then import. And I'm going to browse to a zip file, which is an export from another application. So in this case, the zip file contains all the data tables, application settings, pretty much everything. You click on import, it uploads the file and also starts that uh, background process. And then if you go to files import at this point, you will see there's going to be a bunch of uh, files, there is a log, and then these files uh, gradually they will be removed as data is migrated from these CSVs. Now these CSVs are sitting inside of the zip. So if I refresh, there will be fewer files. And then in the data section, now we have data tables, and then some of them are empty because the import is still in process. But as soon as the import is complete, then every single table will have its own data. When the import process is done, you will also receive an email with the information and the status of how the import went. Uh, very, very straightforward and quite powerful because you can bring data pretty much from your uh, any existing storage system that you have as long as it is formatted in the format that Backendless anticipates.